Oh. Jake Crackham. <laughs> That's it. That's there it. Oh, mate. Look, starting out. I haven't even spoken to him yet. You're doing the intro. Uh, good afternoon and uh, and welcome. Is that it? Just that, leave it at that. Leave. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, the new guy looks like you. Do you reckon? Same haircut. I'm actually a little bit taller. Barry Fuck Mark. off, are you? I am. <laughs> Barry Mark, too. <laughs> Is he shorter than you? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> You're well happy. What is that it? smell? What? <laughs> Onion bargy. <laughs> Onion bargy, breath bastard. <laughs> I put a cilantro in the sock and blow the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Pumped up so bad then. When was the last time you rode? Uh, two. Yeah. When? I think it was the last time we were here. Oh, a while then. Yeah, probably two, two and a half weeks. I'm kind of hoping, hoping it would come to something, but it's so wet in there. What, what did you do just then? 20? I don't know. Must have been. I think Didn't it was really over 20. Was it? I think so. I didn't really intend on doing it, but trying the clutch and it doesn't feel any different so I thought I might as well just carry on. Give it a bit of an endurance test. <laughs> endurance. Now you got a clock on your watch Mark. Clock on, your, clock on your watch? On your ring? On your ring, sorry. Yeah. What are you talking about the ring for? Anyway, what are you saying? Stinks. <laughs> Tricky in places, isn't it? But <laughs> well, what are you actually doing? What's the Testing what? a 450 today. Oh, yeah. Can you remember when I said I was supposed to be testing a 450 That's and they was a 250? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the rolls are reversed, so now I'm on a 450. So, so your your clutch. Try and uh, endurance test the clutch. I'm pretty good at testing that because I'm a bit of a. Oh yeah. So, any yeah, feedback so far? Hey. Any feedback so far? What? Hasn't felt any different. Oh, okay. So we're all about durability now, Mark. That's it. You now, Barry? Uh, I am getting on now. Well, you're not going to tell the world. 40, 44. 44. 44. All the fours. All the fours. All the fours. Is that what you've been writing down on your on your thing? On my pit board. Yeah. Not today. 44 is a good time. Not today. Oh, fucking Callum's getting a bit loose over here. You see him front? I know. Yeah. You didn't do it that time. Did he not? <laughs> You're zooming in a bit, you'll get me all grease slipping in. Uh -huh, I'll get it. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you working on that, son? Oh. Oh, he picked it up well early then, didn't he? Yeah. It's you not. You're going to do that? No. <laughs> I'm probably going to get in a tank slapper about here. Yeah, you almost had a moment like and that. And end up in a pile moment. there. Right. Been down the gym, it's son. Walk down the gym, isn't it? You just put a couple down, mate, you melt. Huh? You just had to put one down. I don't know, cover me in fucking water. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't um, be freezing up like yesterday. <laughs> I can't be dealing with that again. Well, yeah, but that was all sort of. I had to do a script yesterday. Script. Right? Um, so we are back at the track. Uh, I rode here yesterday. Mark's got some footage of that on the 450, but I'm on a 250 today. So testing, testing the race bike. I'm actually running the race bike in later, but I'm testing bits on my sort of half race bike uh, now. Um, just yeah, get it. It's sort of like I said before, it's like a half race bike at the minute. Um, we're just going to add bits to it and try some bits, so it should be pretty cool. And uh, coming off a of 450 yesterday, like you know the lap times and stuff like that, so it should be interesting. I kind of want to do a back to back 250 versus 450 as well, because probably people are wondering why I'm racing a 250 at a ripe old age of 34 and over 30. 34, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. Nearly. So, yeah. Try and, try and try and do a bit of that and just have some fun riding the track's pretty cool and well we got a week just over a week till hawkstone so yeah haven't done loads of riding trying to been trying to do one day a week work's been manic um but yeah keen as mustard for it mate Clean as mustard Can just just rip, rip a hole in the middle and make it do it, mate. Let's power stance. We might as well talk about it while we're here. You're these, doing it. these fly trousers. Oh, here right, we go. go bit of a plug here, but they are fucking good. Because basically, I started uh, before Christmas as a bit of a fat geezer. Fat geezer. And I've lost 10 kilos. And look, I've got a bit of room, yeah. But I've got a couple of functions of how to tighten them up. One there. Functions. One there, and then one there. So they're actually the bollocks. The they, bollocks. They fit so good. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty so impressed. They're, they're good for the slimming man. No, they're just good for if you've got a weird shape like me, 
and a lot of kit doesn't fit you very well because they you, you can sort of customize the fit so that's my sponsor plug for the day no more mark no more no more um, yeah did road 450 yesterday which was good but then the track it rained a bit this morning so the track's all gone backwards a little bit but i'm actually four seconds four seconds a lap slower at the minute on the 250 which is interesting but the track is a bit a bit heavier so just watching rack them at the minute so Needed a gear higher earlier. I that would have stopped that fish tailing. Get up a gear. He just bent, and he? Let the, let the keep back end sit son. down. Let the back end sit. Um, yeah, so tried a different throttle body just now on the 250, which is good. Um, it's a funny thing for me because I'm off a 450. I don't rev a 250 that much, so I don't really get loads of gains or feel so many gains as what perhaps um, the guys on the dyno would. But if it's no worse, then it's better in terms of obviously if you can gain a bit more top and top end power for the start, it's always helpful. And as long as you don't lose any bottom, then you're winning. So um, yeah, just tried that. So I've only done two sessions at the minute, but just. Um, I really find it so much easier on a 250. Um, did three, three decent sessions yesterday trying clutch parts on a 450, uh, which was good, really enjoyed it, um, but just enjoy a 250 so much more. I think I spent so long on a 250, um, my style just suits it, even though I'm a little bit bigger. Um, I just enjoy it more, but be interested to see how the times, if the times come down, because I was surprised that there's a four second gap of the track is a bit heavier. Oh, yeah, the Stark, the Stark. Are we, we going to address spread. that? Are we, we going to leave that there? there? I think we've got a little bit of stick for the way I set out the test, but in my eyes, it was absolutely sound. I did every jump on this track. So I rode the Stark four times before that test. I had on 30 horsepower one day and did every jump around this track. And I would never do that on a 30 horsepower petrol bike. So in my eyes, I thought, right, I'll back the horsepower down compared to a 250. Um, and I got plenty of stick for it. Plenty of stick. Plenty of stick. Go on, that's it. You know the problem was? That's it, look. Got the gear. Too many vegans watch the video, mate. That was a problem, wasn't it? Too many vegans. There's a lot of positive comments as well, but it's, it's a lot to be said for the fact that I didn't, but a very good friend of mine paid for that bike, so we haven't been given it. There's no bias shit. It was just a straight honest interview and around a proper motocross track like this it's no fucking good end off but smaller track whatever and loads of people said oh if you put it up more horsepower it'd be better and it'd be a better fairer test the test was will it last 20 minutes and it didn't on 40 horsepower so if i put it to 50 do we think it's going to get better or worse that's it end off get me revved up <laughs> Take a 10 and an 8 up with you, just for the bars, yeah. Well, you're much to say, son. Try my race bike now. Try my race bike. Is this uh, first go on it? You like a new bike, though, don't you? I love a new bike. But yeah, new um, yeah race bike ready for Hawkstone and I guess the first British Championship, which is about eight months' time. But fair enough. Yeah. I think old Ollie's finished up. You'll have a word with him. Go on, Ed. Should we get an interview? All right, all right. You, Ollie. How, how's your day been, mate? What do you reckon? It was min. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Smiling, that. <look. laughs> Proper job. Enjoyed it. Good. On the 350. On the 350, popping it. Man handling it. Oh, yeah. Can he fucking talk for like. How old are you? 6'3. 6'3. What, what are you? Nearly, ripped, nearly as ripped as you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm 6 foot, I think. 
I'm all dick and ribs, aren't I? So what are you? <laughs> dick and ribs. Hey Ryan. Well, you're saying? in a rush, you've got to get home with mate. Yeah. We've spent a bit too long out of Peckham Springs. It's, uh, my nose has been bleeding in all sorts, mate. Uh, we're wrapping up. Yeah. Um, oh, I've got a couple more things to try, but obviously Mark's a part-timer, so he's got to go. Part-timer. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Uh, second day, sun's been out most of the day, so track's getting good. It's pretty gnarly out there, but had... Um, had uh, Ollie Colmer, Callum Green and Jake Rackham come and ride, which was cool. Young boys out there, so um, yes, try and do a bit more with, with all these boys, especially the younger ones, trying to get them to pick a few bits up, especially around here. They're always, everyone that comes here always says how hard it is, so it's been cool. And um, yeah, try just try the race bike. It's um, another step in the right, like, right direction, really. It's a bit quicker and they've changed a few things, so the engine's a little bit freer. Um, and we're just trying, going to try a different pipe, yeah, front pipe now. We've tried throttle bodies, um, uh, twin injectors. So yeah, tried a fair bit. Um, I'm quite old school though, so I'm kind of almost rejecting a bit of it because a lot of the stuff is quite revvy, and I don't really rev a 250 that hard. So it's cool. It's nice to know that what we our base is pretty good. So um, yeah, it's good fun, and it's just so nice being able to just ride a 250. I know I keep going on about it, but I rode a 450 yesterday and. Um, if I was committed to racing a 450 this year, I'd be a bit like, you know, but the fact that I'm riding a, on a 250 is um, it's quite exciting. So, got Hawkstone Park first race next Sunday, the International, it's always a good one. Always a big line up there and um, did it last year. Kind of did all right last year, really. Ended up second overall, I think, or third overall. And off the couch, more or less, did a bit of arena cross and was a bit overweight, so, uh, a little bit more prepared this year, but trimmed, same, up, so trimmed, up. trimmed up a bit. Same objective though, just go and have fun. And first British is not for a bloody nearly two months after that, so just taking it easy one day a week at the minute and um, yeah, just trucking along really, enjoying it. Especially when the sun's out, tracks like this. That's it really. See you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>